So we have wheels are spinning here, turning. We're probably going to ask you to find the acceleration, the angular acceleration, or find the initial velocity, or the final angular speed, or find the distance traveled. So we need some equations that will help us find that. Here's the good news. Do you remember the five equations we wrote a while ago, or maybe four equations? One of them was x equals x sub zero plus v zero t. Remember that equation? We also wrote x equals x sub zero plus one half times v zero plus v final times t, right? We wrote x equals Uh, that's v average actually not v zero v average a v uh, we had x equals what x sub zero plus v zero t plus one half a t squared we had v equals v zero plus a t right and the last one what was it v final squared equals v zero squared plus 2a times x minus x sub zero. These were the five equations we use. Well, when things are going in a circular path, we can't use these. They don't help us. We need to come up with a new set of equations. But here's the good news. We're going to take these equations, and every time you see x, you're going to take it, and you replace it with theta. And every time you see v, we're going to take it out and replace it with w. And every time I see a, I'm going to take it out and replace it with what? Alpha. Because that's when things are going in a circle, we use these letters. So these five equations, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I'm going to create five equations now. Here's the first one. Instead of x, I'm going to put what? Theta. In place of x, 0. Theta, 0. Plus, in place of v, w average, times t. Equation 2. Theta equals theta, 0, plus 1 half w0 plus w times t. Equation number three, theta equals theta0 plus w0t plus one-half alpha t squared. I forgot the square here. I forgot to put the square there on that one. Make sure you put it there. Equation 4, W equals W0 plus alpha T. Equation 5, the last one, W squared equals W0 squared plus 2 alpha times theta minus theta 0. Or you can write that delta theta if you want to, you know. So it's the same equations. All I did, took x out, put theta. Took v out, put w. Took a out and put alpha. And if you remember how we use them, we are in business now. We can go through and do some examples. Let's take some examples here and use these equations.
we have here a baseball player. We'll say Pedro Martinez from the Red Sox a few years back. To throw a curveball, Pedro gives the ball an initial angular speed. Initial angular speed. That's W0 of 36.0 rad per second. So when the ball leaves Pedro's hand, the ball is spinning. They put that little spin with their finger on it. 36 rad per second. When the catcher gloves the ball after 0.595 seconds later, that's the time, the ball gets to home plate 0 0.595 seconds later. The ball's angle speed by the time it gets to the catcher has reduced. Why? Why would it be reduced? Well, before he caught it, how about the air resistance, the wind? So slowing it down. So the final angular speed is a little bit lower, 34.2 rad per second. Friction. Air resistance. And the question, can you tell me, is question A, can you tell me what the angular acceleration is? Alpha is? And assume the acceleration, just like with, we made the assumption, constant acceleration in the previous nine chapters, we're making the assumption the acceleration is constant here. And the next question, part B, how many revolution? Does the ball make? Before the catcher catches that ball, how many revolution? How many times is spun around? Now, before we even start doing, do you think uh, the acceleration will be positive or negative? Negative. negative. Why? Because we're slowing down. So let's look at part A. We know W0, T, W, and A. Is there an equation that has these four things in it? W0, T, W, and A. W0, W, T, and A. Equation number four. See it right here. Has all these four pieces in it. plus alpha t. W is what? 34.2. W0, 36.0. Plus alpha. Alpha is what? I'm looking for it. And what about the time? 0 0.595. How many unknowns do you have there? 1. So 34. 0.2 minus the 36 equals negative 1.8 equals 0.595 times alpha. And alpha should be, take that number divided by 0.595. Roughly negative 3.02 or 03. And that's rad per second squared. Now, this is part A. 
Part B, how many revolution does the ball make? How many revolution? That means I need theta. Part B, can you find theta? Well, do we have an equation that we know W0, T, W, we know what alpha even, can we find theta? Is there an equation that will take us there? Number which one? Three. Somebody said three, yep. You can do that if you want to. I can do number five too. You know? So whatever you like to do, so if I take number five, I go W squared equals W zero squared plus two alpha times the change in theta. W squared, which is what, 34.2 squared equals 36 squared plus two times alpha, alpha is negative 3.03 .03 times the change in theta. Thirty-four point two squared, and if I minus thirty-six from it after you square it, I do them in one shot. Maybe not. You might get some people might get confused. Here we go. One one six nine point six four. Thirty-six squared. One two nine. 6 minus 6.06 oh, delta theta. Bring that number to this side. It becomes a negative 126.36 equals negative 6.06 oh, delta theta. Can we get what delta theta is? Divide that number by 6.06. .06. Is it 20.8? Rad. Twenty point nine radian. The question is, we don't want it in radian, we want it in revolution. Can we convert that to revolution? That's over one. Since red on the top, I want red on the bottom. Rev on the top. One revolution is how many radian? Two pi. So we do the math. Divide that by 2, then divide it by pi. Make sure you put the 2 pi in parentheses. And you end up with 3.32 rev. The ball makes 3 and one third turns by the time the catcher gloves the ball. Okay. Let's try another one.
I think the show is still on TV. Wheel of Fortune is it still on TV. Yeah. Yep. They call somebody from uh, the audience. That person will go up there, and they spin the wheel and wait for it to stop. So let's use that example. The contestant actually takes that wheel and spins it, gives it initial speed, angular speed, initial value of 3.40 rad per second. And you gotta wait till the wheel stops spinning to land somewhere, see what you won. And if you're unlucky, it will land on bankrupt and you lose all the money that you made. But you wait, so what's my final angular speed? The wheel starts spinning. What's your final angular speed? Zero. And let's assume this person didn't give it that much of a push there. So let's say it's uh, the distance traveled. The wheel rotates. one and a quarter revolution. That's it. Before it stopped. I don't want to tell you what letter that is because we have to decide. A, there we go. Find the angular acceleration, alpha. B, and it should be a negative because you're slowing down. Find the time it took for it to come to a stop there. Stop spinning. This is the one I'm interested in. What is this? Is this W? Is this alpha? Is this theta? What is it? Okay, changing, I like that, changing theta, yep. And now since we need to have that in radian, that's not good. So we have one and a quarter, which is mean 1.25, by the way. So what, 1.25 rev, that's over one, I'm gonna change it to radian. One rev is what, two pi? So we know that change in W is actually 1.25 times 2 times pi, which is 7.85 radian. So that's the angular distance travel. That's what theta is. So we have W, W0, theta, and we're looking for part A alpha. Equation number five, maybe? It says W squared equals W0 squared plus two alpha times delta theta. Zero squared equals 3.40 squared plus 2 times alpha is unknown. We're looking for it times 7.85. That's the change in theta. 3.4 squared, 11.56, 2 times 7.85. 15.7 alpha. Negative 11.56 equals 15.7 alpha. And to get alpha, you got to divide that number by 15.7. And if you divide that, that's a negative point seven three six rad per second squared.
part B, we need the time, T. T. Okay, what equation can we use? T. Can we use number four? W equals W zero plus alpha T. W, which is what? Zero. W zero, 3.4. Alpha is negative 0.736 times t. Zero equals 3.4 minus 0.736 t. Bring that number to this side becomes a positive 0.736 t equals 3.4. And to get t, we're going to divide everything by 0.736. It took 4.62 seconds. So that's how long it took for it to stop spinning. Let's do one more example, and I was watching last night Deadliest Catch. I'm a big fan of that show. And if you see them, they throw the, a hook there, they grab the rope, and they pull the rope, and they attach it to that pulley there that spins. So we got this actually, a pulley that's spinning in this direction. They take the cage, it's in the bottom of the ocean there, and this one's attach it to that. But I'm going to modify that story a little bit there. So this was really spinning. You attach this to it. Well, what will happen if you attach to it? If you don't have a motor constantly pushing this to spin, if you just spun this really, really fast and you attach the rope to it, what will happen is this one will start to slow down, and this will move up to a height there, and it will stop. The velocity becomes zero. And if you let it sit for a few minutes, guess what will happen next? This will start to go which way? Downward, and we'll make this spin backward. So I'm just going to look at it from the time you, you attach this to it to that time. So let's see what we know initially. All I know, once you attach that weight to it, this is going to move up. Initial velocity is going to be going up. This one here is going to have an acceleration. It's going to start to decrease at the rate of negative 2.10 rad per second squared. Let's assume the pulley here, before I attach that weight to it, it has initial angular speed of 5.4. And the question, how long, time-wise, how long does it take it, it take that pulley to come to rest? Come to rest means final velocity is what? Zero. And maybe I'll do part B. I'll say how many, or find theta, I don't know, after that. Part B is find theta. So part A, find the time. And part B, find theta. I didn't give you the mass of this. It's not really important. The only thing, the heavier the weight you put there, the quicker it's going to stop. 
So this was moving, spinning fast there. You attach a weight to it, it's gonna rise, rise, it's gonna slow down, slow down, finally it's gonna stop. So let's look at these equations. They're an equation that has these four in it. Is the first one? I don't know if it's the first one, maybe the third one. W equals W zero plus alpha T, do we have one? That's number what, four? So for part A, I can use W equals W zero plus alpha T. W zero, what's W zero? 5.40 alpha is negative 2.10 times t. 2.10 t equals 5.4. And what's t equal to? 5.4 divided by 2.1, 2.57 seconds. And part B, can we find theta is? We can use actually any equation, let's see. Number two probably will get us there, right? We know W, W zero, we know what T is. I can use number three. I can use this one. What else I can use? I'm looking for theta. So I can either use two or three. Your ch uh, choice there. Which one you want to use? Any preference? Two? Okay. Theta equals theta zero plus one half W zero plus W times T. Assuming it starts initially from zero, because we're gonna measure from that point there. The minute we hooked on that becomes my mark there. One half, I know what W zero, 5.40. Oh. It ended up being 5.40, but I wanna plus what? What's my final speed? Zero times the time, which is what? 2.57. times, 5.4 times 2.57. 6.94. Radian. If it doesn't say on revolution, I'm fine with it. That's how far it traveled. If they want it in revolution, you divide it by two pi, which is 1.1 rev. So I can ask the question in radian, I can ask the question in revolution. <laughs> 